Hey critters, I am Wayward Dreams and welcome back. Because I'm a terrible person who suckered you in with a painting of a hot chick again, I have a ridiculous rant for you. People told me that I should do them again, so here I am. I'll preface this by saying that I cannot possibly divine the true meaning behind Blue Stolly's song Down in Flames, nor can I tell you his intent or speak in his name. What I can do is tell you why I sing this song the loudest of any others that is on his album The Devil. So when I thought of this song I initially was going to paint a version of the Hanged Man from the Major Arcana of Tarot because it's the card of the martyr. Not only that, but the card of the person that put themselves there on purpose for his own edification. My drafts didn't come out so well, but here we are anyway. She still works, I think. So here's the point. Edification versus empathy. This has become a major pet peeve of mine, especially since about 2014 forward. See, in a digital world where all is a stage, I find very few being genuinely empathetic for no motive but empathy itself. And the cancer that I found truly taking hold by 2015 was that people would claim to have it via a cause or their so-called humanitarian concerns, but the catch was only where it applied to their own personal dogma. These statements often garnered social status for not doing anything about these things simply for opening their mouth, and it's a slippery slope, because once they received accolades for appearing to give a shit, it became addictive, and also the polarizing statements about whomsoever even looked like they disagreed with them and the accompanying vitriol that a true empath would never think to utter outside of the most egregious human behavior. It became less about the understanding of others and more about the attention received, and all the while demanding that you see the world from their own twisted view or you were disgusting. Now, I could care less your position on the political playing field. This affliction runs rampant on both sides. Accusing each other of extreme ideals, labeling with demeaning terms, and calling for children to bathe in the blood of their parents on no grounds but some pretty easily reconciled viewpoints if you were to only reach out your hand and attempt understanding is the opposite of empathy. That, my friends, is zealotry. And empathy has no place in the zealot's toolbox. This is not to foist my political view on anyone, nor will I talk about them. They don't matter. This is as political as I will ever get. I'm not saying bastards on the extreme sides don't exist, but don't jump on that bad wagon to combat the other. That is not our strength. Our strength is where we can breach the divide like humans and stand together, disagreements and all. It's kind of just like marriage, really. I mean, don't you disagree with the person you're married to from time to time but still love them? The point is, don't demand empathy if you can't give it. That's not how it works. So your Fight Club homework, should you choose to accept it, and I promise this message will not self-destruct in your face, is to find somebody, anybody, that has the opposite views of you. And I don't care if it's religion, if it's politics, if you like freaking Italian and they like Mexican. Find somebody and bridge a gap. See if you can find things that you can agree on and walk away with a handshake. It's that freaking simple. So before I leave you with some awesome blue stolly goodness, I am going to leave you with this statement. Be wary if the revolution is too televised. Someone stands to profit off our hate and dissent. Spoiler alert, it's not us. And now, burn baby burn.
If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and share, and if you can relate to this at all, or if you've got something funny to say about this, please comment below. I'd love to hear it. You can also find me on DeviantArt, Twitter, and Instagram. Just look up Wayward Dreams. We'll see you next time.